will assume that you're familiar with statistical hypothesis tests and how they're applied in VSP. If not, please watch the video SH100 before continuing. I will also assume that you've already gone through the sampling design process using the Marsum sign test and have sample results ready to test. If not, refer to video SA500. The Marsum sign test is used to determine compliance with the release criterion of a radionuclide when it's not present in background. It tests whether the true median of the site exceeds the derived concentration guidance level, or DCGL. For more information about the appropriate use of this test, refer to the Marsum manual at the website displayed below. In this video, I'll show you how to use VSP to test your sample results using the Marsum sign test. If you have your VSP project file open that contains your Marsum sign test design, just use the last design button on the main toolbar to bring back the Marsum sign test design dialog. If you don't have that VSP design file, you can still do the analysis. Just start with a blank project and go to Sampling Goals, Compare Average to Fixed Threshold. To access the Marsum sign test, choose that you cannot assume the data are normally distributed and that your data are not symmetrical. The only two pieces of data that you need for the analysis are the confidence of 95% and the action level of 10 units. Note, these are not default values. They're the specific values we used in our specific design. For a different design, your values will be different. I'll switch to the Data Analysis tab. I've copied my sample results to the clipboard, so on the Data Entry tab, I'll click on the Paste button. I need to tell VSP what this column of data is, so I'll choose Value and click OK. VSP tells me that it successfully imported all 42 of my sample results. Click OK to dismiss the message. Now I'll look at the summary statistics. The standard deviation is close to what I expected during the design phase, which was 3. The median is 9.55, and my DCGL was 10. So can I conclude my site is clean, since the median is less than my threshold of concern? No. This is the median of the samples we took. The real median of the entire site is not known. It's the real site median that has to be compared against the regulatory limit. The statistical test takes our sample results and determines if we can confidently conclude that the real site median is below the limit while accounting for the uncertainty in our estimate of the median. The test tab gives us the answer. There's a test to see if the data is normally distributed, although since we're using the Marsum sign test, it's okay if the data are not normally distributed. It also computes an upper confidence limit on the mean. The important test for us is the Marsum sign test. It says that there's not enough evidence to reject the null hypothesis that the site is dirty. We have to conclude that the site is dirty. In other words, we're not 95% confident that the true site median is less than 10 units.